Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. These are the waves that brought Islam to Malabar. The fragrance of the spice brought the Arab traders from the land of the blessed and Islam to the subcontinent. Records can be found linking the reversion of a chairman Perumal to the introduction of Sadan India to the light of Islam. Ibn Battuta, the 14th century explorer in his chronicles, mentions the two contrication methods in the city of Calcutta. The early mosque of Malabar could be termed as Monsoon Mosque. Both the Mishkal and Jami Masjid in Calcutta were shaped in accordance to the specific climate conditions, which is designed out of local resources like timber and stone. With wide corridors leading to an inner prayer hall and frequently arranged doors with semicircular arcs enabled easy access inside and flow of wind, cooling the interiors. You can see delicate designs and imagery of a pride carved on the wooden members. The howl or the water pool collectively used for ablution taught the abundantly available rainwater. The architectural marvel of the early masjids inspired from Buddha tradition is the result of collaboration with the vernacular craftsmanship of Tachan caste. Mansoon Mosque has an interesting tiles of accommodation with the imam at the top, the madrasas in the middle and the prayer hall at the base. The absence of minarets in Mansoon Mosque is interesting while the unique presence of the same in the Muhyiddin and Kano city masjid reveals the architectural discontinuity from the former design. However, we can't confine the understanding of masjid merely as an architectural private space as we see today. Masjids being the symbol of power were the nucleus of anti-colonial struggles against the Portuguese and British who preyed upon masjids. With the rise of modernity and nation states, masjids have changed structurally with the lack of unity it once had. Nonetheless, considering the trajectories of most demolitions with current political scenario of India, the target of oppressors from the Portuguese to the Hindutva force today hardly changed. Barbary being a fatal step in annihilating the very existence of Muslim community. <laughs> بعامي ذا صغما وصف بالجود والطقى شيخ ابن إبراهيم شهير بنا خدا هداه ووفقه وأعطاه سؤله وأسكانه وعلى الجياني مخلدا